our last state and head case. We have a lot of ground to cover. Where have you been? Great? Wonderful. As you see, I've come up in the world. I don't do puppet shows anymore. I got my very own movie company. Today I'm not here to talk about, about Santa Claus and stuff. I'm here to talk, to talk about the Easter Bunny. Do you know he gets as much as mail as Santa? Every year it's the same. Some kids ask for color eggs, others for toy bunnies and candy. A lot of kids ask questions like, why do we color eggs at Easter? Where did the Easter Bunny come from? Why do you hide eggs? Who made the first chocolate bunny? The first stuffed toy? Why? 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 That's what you're wondering. Well, perhaps this story will help. See, I'm going to tell you a little story about the Easter Bunny. So you want to know about the Easter Bunny, huh? Well, I'll tell you. It all began many years ago, long ago, when two rabbits decided to start a business. They decided to start a successful egg business. And the rabbits all agreed. Anyway, the closest town was Miramon. They had to cross over a tall mountain. Horrible mountain. That, that mountain was the home for the evil. It's terrible. It's horrible. I hate to even see his name. That mountain was the home. Um, watch your TV. Horrible it was here. All he did was terrify people. Yes. He usually show up on holidays. If yes. If was take all the kids' toys. Yes. If it was Halloween, take their pumpkins. It's supposed to be there at 10. Birthday. Well, He'd take the cake. Anyway, Rabbit's do was the quickest way to get um uh, yes to the nearest town. Anyway, the two rabbits were just only up the hill on Easter morning. One year after they decided to start their business. Anyway, they were over the mountain with the sun lay. I want the eggs, rabbit! Anyway, the two rabbits just ran for their life! Anyway, they came to the gates of Merrimon. Merrimon was the most miserable, heartless, cruel, unfriendliest place in the world. Nobody laughed. Everybody dressed in black and pretty foul flowers were against the wall. You see, Merriman was under the rule of King Jack. King Jack was the most evil, terrible king. So mean, nobody wanted to be around him. So he had to make his own servants. It was his horse, ran by steam, and, and Thelmon, the butler, ran by robotics. Also his army of soldiers, all lifeless. Each, each operated by a motor. Why, even the mice were artificial. See, the only food in Miramon were beans. And everyone in Miramon hated beans. They had to do something. Later in Bunnyville, Rabbits had figured out an idea to get, get the eggs over the horrible mountain. See, they colored the eggs, sizing them as stones. See, the two rabbits had no idea they were starting a tradition. Anyway, next next Easter, they walked with the eggs over a horrible mountain. It was like, Rawr! You got any more eggs for me? Oh, no. Nothing but a bunch of colored stones to sell paperweights. Why do I want stones? I live on a big rock. Get me eggs now! Uh, no way, Jose. Anyway, the rabbits ran for their lives. And they got to the gates of Merrimon. So they, hug! Hell goes there! Uh, just as rabbits, happy Easter. 
He must be all right. Go on in. Anyway, the peasants of Nurmon were so happy with the Easter eggs. Fighting them came later. Don't get ahead of the story now. Anyway, the King Jack found out. Read it. Wait a moment. This is a real egg. I tell the people that beans are the only food allowed. Away with you or I'll throw you in chains. Anyway, the rabbits were on the way out. Anyway, they had an idea. They would make a special Easter bean. The two rabbits kept their word. As the ones that worked with Plasmon, the baker, and Sheldon, the other baker of Bunnyville, trying to make an Easter bean. Oh, they had many failures. Then finally, they had created jelly beans. Well, it's first Easter jelly bean. Anyway, next Easter, starting for town with eggs and jelly beans. Anyway, the two rabbits still they found on the horrible monster. Give me that! Give me those back! And then the horrible monster threw the eggs over the mountain and they landed on the other side. All their hard work for nothing. Anyway, it's not a good idea to go empty handed. When the two rabbits came to Miramon, the children for picking to the, the grass. They have found eggs, and the rabbits decided to hide the eggs. Two children. If those are Easter eggs, you must be the Easter bunnies. Nobody called us that before. Us, said the children. Mm -hmm. well, anyway, the two rabbits, now known as the Easter bunnies, had to figure out a way to get past the horrible moment. So they had a meeting with all the rabbit tailors in town. And they worked all night long following their instructions. Anyway, the two rabbits, they went over the mountain, hoping they would run the horrible the monster. I'll get you! But... Ah! My God, it's Carlo! The rabbits were pushed in bright colored outfits. The monsters hate yeah. bright colors. Those bright outfits were the first uh -huh. Easter outfits ever. Uh, no, I haven't, I haven't asked the Nobody ever saw that in the house yet. with the well, man I heard of him. He was hanging well. Um, I can anyway, find out by the end of the week next about the school. That Easter, the peasants were having fun looking for the Easter eggs. Okay. And they thought those, those jelly beans were the greatest invention since the wheel. Later in the afternoon, when I don't know, I can always take it and try to get it to the not give it to the men. More Easter eggs? I don't believe it. Those rabbits were the cause of them. I alarm! Alarm! I I'm not in the office. Anyway, the two the rabbits that got out just in yeah. time. Anyway, next day, all year long, we have work with the Easter eggs, jelly beans. New Easter Elvis. They also had the candy rabbit make a secret okay. weapon. Just let them know it's either kids or adults anyway, with autism. That next Easter Sunday had to take a whole army with them. Turn the eggs, okay. the soybeans, and the New Easter Elvis and the Yeah, that sounds good. Alright. Anyway, bye. when we got the hillside of our town. Rabbits pull the eggs down the hill, so knocking out the robotic cars. Now you know this day why children roll eggs down the hill. And when the robot cars were covered, they saw hiding in the bushes and strange shadows. And then we got them. They found that instead of real rats, they were chocolate Easter rabbits. They know what that was. The first chocolate Easter Bunny. The Easter Bunnies didn't have any trouble after that. Anyway, everybody enjoyed the chocolate rabbits and the Easter Bunnies. 
and Easter eggs. And we got their new Easter outfits. They're so surprised and so happy that they went out, out into the main street of the first Easter parade. And for the children, the two rabbits had toy animals. World's first stuffed Easter toy. But anyway, they got on time. Anyway, mean old, old King Jack. A stop body must not come to town next year. Anyway, all the rabbits worked night and day when the Easter buddies would come to town. What they didn't know that it was a dirty trick. Anyway, there was so much to carry they couldn't possibly carry it all. Anyway, two rabbits had an idea. There was a little railroad that went through Maryland. They could hire a train. To take, to take Easter candy. When they got to the train yard, all the all the engines thought they were too important for Easter eggs, the jelly beans, the chocolate rabbits, the toy animals. Oh, but it's a very important job, said one rabbit. In politics, I'm the 20th century limited. I'm the servant chief. No, I'm the cult to Newcastle. Don't bother us. Anyway, the two rabbits had just about given up, and suddenly, there was a brand new engine in the train yard. If I hire you, it would be my, 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 if I hire you, it would be my new, new engine. You work hard, the engine said. I'm not strong enough. I'm one of the newer engines. I don't even know if I'm strong enough to, Pull quite a load. Well, you can do it. Well, anyway, new engine was all polished up and decorated. Very early Easter morning, he reported to work. Quite a job for one little engine. He probably would try hard. Anyway, King Jack was hiding in the rock. Playing something really nasty. Anyway, the train that soon left on his own was on his way over a horrible mountain. Quick! Way of the road we get the track begins to climb. Spread that axle grease all over the rails. Go stop slipping at wheels and be here all day. And sure enough, the engine did slip. <laughs> we'll need traction. These will do. These joiners will start with traction. Four jelly beans all over the rails. Anyway, the train succeeded. Now what do we do? Said King Jack. Get lots of salt, said the robot. Salt? For <coughs> what? For all the beast we're gonna get to eat. <laughs> I'm rolling! Yelled King Jack. So loud it shattered the trees. King Jack was finally beaten. This was the best Easter ever. Kids and old folks and Easter eggs and jelly beans and new Easter outfits and every kind of Easter thing you could possibly imagine. As a special surprise, there was a special ham dinner and the people of Miramont ate it. King Jack was banished forever from Miramont from because he was, well, evil. And everybody lived happily ever after. The end. So now you know the story of the Easter Bunny. This is your storyteller, Ted Harris, wishing you a very happy Easter. Happy Easter, everybody. Toodles!